Now let's see the partner's authority in cases of emergency. As we've already studied, this is over and above the implied authority. The acts done in case of emergency bind the firm if the following conditions are satisfied. First, acts are done to protect the firm from the loss. We've already studied. The act should be such as if a prudent man will take under those circumstances. How a normal man with a uh, normal intelligence with normal rationality will act, will take such decisions, those decisions will only bind the firm. Okay, now I'll give you an example. Let's say P, Q and R are partners in a firm. Now this firm is based out of Delhi. Now they you know they are into selling of books and notebooks and all those stuff okay now they get an order a very big order from mumbai so there's a customer who has given them a very big order from mumbai so now it normally takes around 25 to 30 hours by road to reach from delhi to mumbai so what p does is P accompanies the transporter all the way to Mumbai. So, when P is midway with the transporter, with in, he is in the truck. So, when the truck is in transit, it's midway, P gets the news that the purchaser, the buyer has got insolvent. So he thinks there is no use going till Mumbai because you know there will be a waste of time, energy and money. So he instructs the driver you know to return back to Delhi. Now you know he again get when he is retracting, he, when he is retreating, he again gets the news that there is a flood like situation in Delhi. Now, you know, this is a case of emergency. There is a flood going on in Delhi and he is into the business of selling of notebooks. It's a paper product. So it gets damaged when it becomes moist or when it becomes wet. So what P thinks is it would be better if I sell the goods here only, that is when he is midway. Let's say he is in Ratlam. So he sells the goods in Ratlam only, but he sells at 30% discount. He gets a buyer there and he purchases from him at 30% discount so he gets only 70% of the cost now why did he do that was because if he would have taken the goods back he would have suffered the loss of all 100% because the goods would have you know gotten destroyed in the flood and rains so he saved 70% of the firm's money with his decision. Now what he has done is this act of P who is a partner in the firm was in the emergency. There was an emergency. He had to act. Otherwise what would have happened was the goods would have gotten destroyed and there would have been a loss to the firm. So in good faith for the benefit of the firm he took a decision like a normal prudent man would have taken. He sold the books at 30% discount, saving the firm from 70% of the loss. He could recover only 70%, yet he saved the firm from 70% loss. Otherwise, the books would have gotten destroyed. Okay, so this act can be said as an act in emergency and this partner will have the authority to act in emergency. Okay.
ओके